Welcome back to my continuation of Life is Strange. This is my first time playing through the game. I'm on episode 2. Damn it. Did not mean to smack my mic like that. Yeah, buddy. Alright, um... I don't know how... I'm very tired. Uh, I don't know why. Um, but I'll try to get through as much as I can. Um, but probably just doing going to do the next episode um if you're watching this as a playlist on youtube thanks for watching just a recap um i like to play a game these story-based games from beginning to end move on to the next game is what i call my select night games um so typically i stream them saturday nights though i've changed it around to whatever night i'm able to um so if you catch these streams live um I, I usually hold a poll for what game to play next after I beat this game. So um, you can you can vote every time I stream. But I when I remember because I forgot to do it for the first half of the stream. Uh, when I enable it, you can vote on the next game and I reset it once per stream. Um, you can also spend tokens that you earn in chat on additional votes. So you earn a token for every minute that you watch my stream. I think it also works with uh, reruns. So if you watch a rerun, I think you're still earning tokens. Uh, so you can spend those tokens on extra votes. Or if there's a lot of people in chat and everybody's already placed their vote, you can also use your tokens to reset the poll so everybody has another chance to vote. Uh, by the time I'm ready to move on to my next game, I collect all the votes from every stream and I, uh, and I use that to determine what game to play next. So the next games after this are either going to be Transistor, Doom, or Hellblade. So if you want to vote on what to play next, make sure you show up live to a stream. And you can do that by following me on Twitch or Mixer. However, you can't vote on Mixer. This only works for Twitch. I'm sorry. If you follow me on Twitch, um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. All those links will be in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and uh, if you follow me there, you get notified before I go live. Um, but enough of all that. Let's jump back into the game. And I hope I reset my audio properly. I will say, I was having issues with my Xbox today before I started streaming. So hopefully everything works properly. I'm just going to reset my webcam. Uh, oh. Oh. There you go. Continue. Loading screen takes a while. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Let me know if the audio is okay. Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. This guy. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, she deserved that. Here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. That was pretty cool. Choose wisely. The only option. I 
gonna get rid of my webcam. I can set a thumbnail. This is my issue. The last stream was trying to find a good thumbnail of a title. I had to steal from somebody else's video. Oh, there it is. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> oh shoot, that's not, that's not, I'm sorry. I use that for Overwatch. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say you're a superhero. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. A lot of stuff. Oh. Okay. okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Oh, now, no shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Thank you. I'm just, I'm just about the achievements, that's all. Um, DVDs. Get Netflix! Situation of a recycled joke. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. What? Oh my god, I said it last time too. There's a picture in that plant. Wait. Did you water it? Yeah, I watered it twice. I watered it last time and I watered it again. <laughs> Why? You can Does it matter? Does it matter if I killed it? There's a giant tornado. There's a giant tornado on its way. How is how is killing the plant gonna affect the tornado? Let's be weird. This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this yeah, is fuck some the plant. crazy I don't shit, care. but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. What? Okay, what's she spreading exactly? Your face on a cow and your face on a monkey. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Alright. Notes. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. A lot of here's shit. I feel like I already looked at this. That's the only tourist picture I let them take. Yeah, I already the took Space Needle. I'm gonna try to avoid. It's fun to get some peeps together and play a real game any, instead of drama games. Any like optional music because my last video got muted. That's kind of annoying. So. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. All right. Objective, I should take a shower. I think the game's giving me a hint here. That phone. No move. Yeah. 
Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Don't forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. She's so on it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna knock. Fine, I won't disturb you. <laughs> Where's the showers? Ow! Oh shit! Hold on. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. What was that? Bathroom. I'm assuming the showers are in here, but I guess not. Where are the showers? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween oh. shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? What's the reason not to go to the party? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Stuff. Fine. So what do the white birds say? Uh, which whiteboards can I change? Oh, bank for Oh. Is it just the one? Thought like maybe I can ch maybe I can change um Yeah, okay. Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Hey Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Did I did she watch it? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Oh shit. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Nice. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. <laughs> life move on, bitch. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. 
He's my friend, not my mother. I was True. not expecting that answer. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Can I erase this one? Taylor's room. Where are the showers? Elves room. I feel like that's the important thing right now. It's the game t kept telling me to take a shower. You keep walking past the hallway. Okay. Feel weird. I'm walking down the hallway and I'm not dressed. To your left. This way. Oh, this is showers. Okay. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Isn't <laughs> Yeah. Isn't she like a kid though? What's oh, up, Kate? This bitch. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like Just home. run out naked and just smack her across the face. Victoria, Do it. Victoria, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. <laughs> Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. <laughs> I, I just want... I just want an option to fuck her up. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway... Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> oh, she's writing it on the mirror. Kate'svid.com. Did Square Enix register that domain? I'm wondering. Yeah, of course. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. It's <laughs> Thanks for posting. I'm going to take a look right now. I totally forgot that people were in here. Rachel is a whore. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming I go get dressed now. Oh, 
Oh, somebody trashed my shit. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. All right, so there's a book. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Oh, I have damn to fix it. this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Forgetting I can rewind time. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right. So. Dress. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. That's true. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being Victoria. Of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. I don't care. She's right all over my room and still make fun of her. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Huh. Oh shit. Wonder who wrote that. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Yep. But it could be anybody. Definitely. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Okay, do I... No need to go there now. Oh yeah, I need to go to her room. Where is it? Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Good, she hasn't found herself yet. Oh my god, she's got a violin. Awesome. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Hmm. Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Um, that's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Yeah, someone drugged Then Nathan her. Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Hmm. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. 
Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Oh shit, that's freaky. And... That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Yeah, I feel bad. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Yep. Take the fucker down. Should I go to the police? No, look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. I probably the video said doesn't the, exactly back the you bad up. choice, right? It makes me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I'm gonna, I I'm gonna change that. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That change seems that. impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you, but not right now. I didn't, I didn't so like I take a picture of the cop. I didn't do all this other stuff because. Thanks, Max. I'm just trying to like be consistent with my shit, but that was the wrong choice. Good Rewind. job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. No, we don't. By the way, she gets mad. <laughs> By the way, she gets. So even if I tell her to go to the cops, she's gonna get mad. I can't be in two places at once. All right. I'll take your word for it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of religious shit in here. Oh, there's a rabbit. <gasps> take a photo of the rabbit. <laughs> Figured it out. Yeah. If you if you hear the achievement noise twice, it's it's because it sounds off on my Xbox and my PC at the same time. Kind of annoying, but it's also helpful. What, Chloe? I'm busy. Food. Whales. Hey, back I want breakfast now, even though it's midnight. Go get breakfast. But those birds aren't ominous at all. There's a creepy janitor again. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. What animals do you see in the forest? 
don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. <laughs> Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Scroll on See the bench. you later. Of course you will. Hey. Squirrel on a bench. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Good ways. What? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time oh, for shit. 15 minutes of fame. Come here, squirrel. I better not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Nice. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. No, I want to fight with Instead Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. <sighs> that was not illuminating and I kind of regret talking to her. Max, get over here. Warren, what are you doing? You can here? go back and talk to her oh, again. Nothing. Why? I'm waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted well. to rap about that action yesterday. Hold on. How far can I rewind after talking to this guy? By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <gasps> Just take down the video? Hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> got her? a point. Just a pirate. Hmm. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Is that the same time as the party and the tornado? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. 
God. Let's rewind that conversation. Hopefully I can talk to the other girl. Alright. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to... I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Is that it? Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We is she, should do it again. Is she going to take down the video? See you later. Alright, I'm hoping she's going to take down the video. Maybe not? <laughs> Why? Did I do it wrong? Mmm. Better take down the fucking video. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting. By the way... Oh, yes you do. You're a real ever. Even though you left me... Just to... I bet you were glad... I but... You're fucking weak. Yes, that's... Well, that Okay. I will find out, I guess. I found the video. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Oh, shit. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Gotta take a pick of the whale. Okay. Lighthouse. Dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk time. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash the it in. Killing. 
Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. That was a school bus, though. Not, not like a bus. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Alright, relax, Chloe. Oh my god. What's this? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. <laughs> By Neptune's it's like beard. like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends. I, I know where the price. whale is. Just getting. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. All right. And there's a dog in the back. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Are there homeless people around here? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Hmm. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Hey, 
His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Mm -hmm. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone thousand through years. the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Okay, here, puppy, puppy. Where are you? Where's the dog go? Is there a dog back here? There's a guy sleeping in the chair. Oh, shit. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones. Next today. is in the bathroom. Okay. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Oh my god. Dude. Weird lady. <laughs> Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your <laughs> breakfast, eh? Yeah, weird lady is right. Bathroom. Fire shot. That graffiti has been here forever. <laughs> Thank you, redneck poet. Feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make yeah, two whales awesome. my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers at a time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Hmm. Bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Download a vanquish. <laughs> Alright, hurry up. Let me see the options. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. 
I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. The one with the guy well, sleeping? The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my Well, now I want to go there. I wasn't going to, but... I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Huh. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Yeah. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. <laughs> Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. That was awesome. What's up, Justin? Get my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in your dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. 
Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Didn't I, didn't she just say? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family. I doubt so he's I guess, true to his word. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? All the food. All the food. <laughs> a bacon omelet or a Belgian waffle? Um, does this matter? <laughs> I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. What happens if I said waffle? Would she would she have been like waffle? Get the fuck out of here. For the young lady, staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I love the delicious Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I, I keep going back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. <laughs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. I mean, she, she, still she the chose this place. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of it. the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. 
of Skull Keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. And then I downloaded Battlefield 1943. <laughs> that was beyond epic fail. But I can't you see. What were they? Let me see. The, the thing was in the way. Hey, look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay. And a keychain. Cigarettes. I have to count how much. Alright, so. Six pennies. Three quarters and the. A ticket. 86 cents. Thank you. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. And blow your mind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Hella ready. Okay. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how oh, many fuck. Cigarettes? I didn't count how many cigarettes. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Six cigarettes. Absolutely. Rock. Oh my god. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's happening. Seven, six. <laughs> it definitely wasn't six. This is me telling. Okay, Max. I'm pretty. Yes, you know I'm a. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh. Way too easy. A cute robot. Not bad. You do have that a parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? <laughs> Shit. Uh, I think it was 11:10. 11:10 11, a.m. That is so Damn wrong. it. Okay, psychic girl. But there you always tell me a second too late, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> that was beyond epic fail. All right. I got this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, go. Fuck. Alright, well, you already told me. I don't need to look at it. So, this is. Okay, Max. Alright, parking ticket. Up. You know me well. 34. 10 34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Your car key. D a key. Not. You do have. <laughs> Clearly, I'm. 80. That's right. So that was cool. I'm. Yeah. S Balls. I <laughs> literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. 
You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments okay. so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. I have to do this in order? Um, that was Trevor? Yeah, the Trevor. No, the trucker. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um, his partner. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh... Joyce stops him and Kurt... Stops him. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good! Can't wait to see what happens! As a butterfly lands on it, I didn't pay attention there. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. I didn't well, see. Let's see if everything happens. I didn't like see what said. happened to the jukebox. Just heard it change. I'm hoping it's a butterfly. Break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Don't slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it's a cockroach. It's a fucking cockroach. Let's do it. I'm going to predict. All right, uh, trucker drops his mug. So what happens? Uh, alert on cops radio. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Oh no, and his partner leaves. Fuck. Hold on. Justin and Trev. This is getting good. As a cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarre. Come on. Said, where the hell is my partner? I'm going to predict. Okay. Uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops it. So what happens? Uh, alert on cops radio and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's. And then Joyce stops them. Just. This is getting good. Then cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox. Pretty bizarro. Man. That's in a different point of view now. So, <laughs> must have got it right. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. 
You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Hmm. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Raising. <laughs> Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. I got You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. No, I'm answering the phone. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. And what's our problem? Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer. Kate. Oh, that that's why I could. It's not like I won't argument. see her in class later. Nope. Um. I'm taking care of Kate. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right. Buy bottles. What about this big? Oh. Mm. What if I just nope, leave? I don't want to go there. <laughs> Oh shit, there's a bottle right here. Oh, photo! Wait. There we go.
stupid bottle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Yeah, but how do I get it? Break time. Oh, there's two pictures. Okay. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. And one of the dough. Oh. Where's the... Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. That kind of hurts. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Wait, I can read? Rachel songs. Oh, that's it. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Why didn't she call again? Like, is there an actual answer to this? Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. Just like. To just, die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Just assume that Max is dick. Didn't call. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Oh, I wonder if she's gonna be pissed about that. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Boom, only three bottles left. I gotta find this dough. Too late. Okay. Here's something. I step on here. Does I don't want to go that way. Do you? I want to go that way. The bird. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Wow, sir. Oh, there we that go. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Over here. The dough is the perfect photo op. all see-through this was an old-school punk shirt
Okay. Find uh, two more bottles. Bottle. I need to find five, right? Yeah, I took a pic of the bus. Syringes, oh shit. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? heavier than I thought. Ugh. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. One more bottle to go. Bigfoots were here. Okay, one more bottle. I feel like it was that. Came from this way. This way, too. This where I found the deer. Maybe there's a bottle in the bus? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Hmm. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. A bonfire spot. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Bonfire spot, where are you? Where's this last bottle? Found the other one's pretty easy.
I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Lost. Yeah, I can't find the last one. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Well, I'm looking for the bottle, not the photo op. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. <laughs> I appreciate it. Can't take a think she's hinting. Yes, I know there's a bonfire, but I don't know where it is. Every car has its own tale and history. Fire spot. Behind the building? Thought I did. Between the boats, washing machine. Missed it. Between the boats, like this area here. It was I know here. There's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Is this the bonfire spot? Cars and sit on the stump. It's so quiet and primordial out here. Okay, so, um, between the cars. Yeah, <laughs> thinks about life. Where is that box? These cars? Oh shit! Look at that. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain. Okay. Did I go too far. I right, still picked up the beer. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. 
Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Oh, is she planning on shooting Let's Nathan? Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Oh, shit. Listen to those fat bullet beats. Rewind and help Chloe aim. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Give me Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Uh, that's the one, I guess. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! And then there's the storm. Wow, that's loud. I'm sorry. Not expecting that. <laughs> My, you know, this is super loud all of a sudden. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Okay. Oh, shit. Looks like you're ready to lock Let's take a picture of her. Fuck. I don't know about this are you afraid of getting in trouble oh boohoo max is afraid i know you can handle this and i forgot I'm guide you make me proud sister Shit. i can't rewind hey it's Thelma and louise or is it bonnie and clyde excuse us frank oh sorry chloe 
Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. So I can't rewind. Shoot him? Yeah. Okay. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, Brainiacs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he takes it if you don't shoot. I got it. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Hold on. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more Rewind. dangerous Chloe and me. How far back can I go? Where the fuck am I? Oh, there she is. Look at this. I can't take a picture of her though. Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. How do I take a picture of her? Oh, there we go. All right. So let's uh, let's quickly get through this. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud. He takes the gun won't be the worst thing. Well, I already made my decision, so there you go. Um where'd she go? Uh oh. Wow, sir. Why did I lost Frank her have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Well, I lost her. Go. No. Hello? Oh, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. 
At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Huh. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'd never expect it. This comes out of nowhere. Okay, rewind time and tell her not to lay down on the stupid tracks. Get me out of here, Max! Okay, is there uh, something close by? Oh. Come on, come on. Come Damn on, it. Max! Ryan! Hurry! I can't even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Oh, you kidding me? Where's the tool? Alright, hold on, I gotta find tool. Where's where am I? The train's coming! Max, please! I can definitely use this bad boy. Max, get me out of here! Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hold on! I can rewind the shit. Um. I can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Shit, you're kidding me. Then what? out like a superhero move where I better find the tool to cut those wires oh my god Max! okay 
where is it? Are the tools here? Shit, I can't budget at all. Oh, I got you. Let's not kill her though. In and out, no problem. Oh shit. Damn, something is blocking the drum. What? It's blocking the drum. Am I too late? Now I can finally move the drum. The drum. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Oh, let me How far can I go back? Come on, Max. Hurry. Now I can finally move the drum. Up. Wow. Damn. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. You were totally bombed, right? You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to <laughs> save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. That was super stressful. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. In the classroom dorm. Do you know about okay. chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. All right. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah, but why didn't you call her? <laughs> I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so... End of the world party. <laughs> Right. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? I gotta talk to Courtney it. as well. I, I am talking to Courtney. See what I did there? I don't want to speak. Probably not speak. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. 
Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? No, fuck you. No, I mean, I don't have anything to tell you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Yeah, you go to your fucking meeting. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Hmm, what do I say here? I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway. See you at the game Friday, Max. These guys are not important. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You gotta get on this. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh, like you... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Thanks, Courtney. Talk to him? Hello, climate change. I can't talk to him? Talk to them? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Trevor is busy on the phone. Hey, douchebag. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max. This isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Yeah, you're still a douche. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. <laughs> Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Maybe so you this can't is your way of getting attention. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Think, big brain, think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. 
Asking me for help means you're screwed. Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um, okay. I have a vision. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. When do I take a picture? Damn, zip, nothing. Can't be that hard. A certain angle for this one too. Hey Warren, are you okay? Maxwell's asking me. I have to add either. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to take a picture of it, him, you said, right? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about well, she's the one with the drone. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. This is the teacher with the petition, right? Yeah. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. So, okay. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. 
Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. So I have to rewind to do all that? Also asking me for a have that either wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest. Dr. Caulfield. There we go. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on people. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? Nope, because it didn't My take a picture. My word isn't good enough? <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Oh, she means fuck well, you. She doth protest too much. Oh she my god. Like she's holding back I saw like in this guy. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh Fuck to become this the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share it? Mm, again, I don't have evidence. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. What if I listen in? Uh-huh. <laughs> Make me beautiful. Uh. Bo. 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 Dana, you are out of- I'm kind of doing I something now, Dana? Max. Right. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. I will. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Hey, Facebook. Shut up. Someday the same number of syllables as FB. In the Daniel De Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Mm. 
Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> okay, then. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed for sitting at her desk? No time to talk, Max. Sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Oh shit. Now, bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Oh shit. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Okay. Um Oh shit. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student, or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Uh. Put that away. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Selves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. <laughs> in the end. It. We can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Like Max Caulfield, for example, who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark, the shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> Gonna feel like shit after saying that she brought this, this on herself. It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Who is that up there? She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. All right. What do I do? Ah, the stupid bird's in my way.
If I go up from here. Yeah. Yes. Bring up her dad, okay. power now I have to do this by myself Max seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters you matter and not just to me I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Fuck. <laughs> of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? What? You told me to do nothing. Oh yeah, I should I did. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Oh. Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day, and everybody will Oh shit! I chose the wrong one. my video from the internet, and that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump, Kate. You can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I <laughs> oh, know no. who believes in me. <laughs> See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. What? <laughs> Fuck. I hate this. You think I, I, look, I know I grew up Catholic. You think I know <laughs> any passages? <laughs> Suicide is a sin, isn't it? 
If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I don't think I'm that was the right in answer. Hell anyway. <gasps> no! No! I fucked up! Fuck. I don't know. I'm bad at this. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. Yeah. They were not. Dipshit. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Oh, I plan or to. Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All right. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? Fuck you. I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible <laughs> for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Wait, what? It's all about getting him. Is that not what I did? Any day now, Max. Shut up, Max. It's so nice to hang out here. Is that not what I did? <laughs> I thought I I threw him under the bus and got his, got him suspended. All right. Oh, Nathan saying he's dead. Oh. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in.
Well, I feel like shit. Oh, I knew it was a long shot saving her anyway. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Shit's messed up. I don't have a reason not to right now. I'm assuming there's an achievement for saving her. That was interesting. Alright. So. 
I likely, uh, I just have to reiterate, my stream schedule is going to be a little crazy um, the next little while. Uh, do you get the stats for this episode? I think so. Can I skip this? There you go. There's the stats. I'll move my face around. So, there you go. Um, so, my stream schedule for the next little while is going to be a little up in the air because there's several th things happening, I think, within uh, the next few weeks. And I can't, like, the way my schedule is right now, um, like personal stuff and other stuff that's going on, um, I'm having a hard time memorizing and keeping track of everything that's happening. So just off the top of my head, um, there's uh, um, there's going to be a weekend that I'm away, and I can't remember the date that that that's happening. Um, so it it's a it's a camping trip. So it's something I do every year, and sometimes I put up like a gone camping offline kind of sign. But you know I'm not streaming. Um, however, last year I did a like a full weekend rerun of back then it was called Vodcast, but um, but uh, I, I played like a bunch of streams over again um, throughout that past year, and I'm thinking of doing something similar. Though maybe I might like plan out what videos I want to show and post like some sort of schedule or something. So that would be interesting. So. That would be a, um, a weekend of reruns, not actually live. And um, there's also E3 happening sometime soon. I can't remember the actual date, but I know it's very soon. Um, and the plan, it was to um, stream as along with as many of those conferences as I could. Um, not most of the like big ones like um, Nintendo and, and all that stuff. Um, I'm not too sure if I can do that. Uh, Ubisoft and um, I think EA, I don't think I'll be able to do those ones. Um, however, uh, streams like um, Bethesda, Microsoft, uh, although I don't think I'll be able to do Microsoft, I'm not 100% sure. But um, I'll, uh, I'll be more clear on what I can do on Twitter and Discord because I would love to just talk over the conferences and do my live reactions as they're happening. Um, I had fun doing that last year, so we'll see. I'll I'll try to keep posted on that, and then um, I think there's other stuff going on too. So usually I stream Friday and Saturday nights. Um, however, my schedule is not 100%. So just follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord to know when I'm live. Um, and again, if you want to determine what game I play next, I'll end the poll right now. Um, Make sure you show up to these live streams. You can vote on what I play after uh, Life is Strange. Um, so the next game after this is either going to be Transistor, Doom, or Hellblade. Looking forward to playing those. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to to say in that regards. So I'm, I'll likely be playing this game next week, either Friday or Saturday. And I'll keep you posted on that. Um, until then, thank you for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I've, there's no way I have four viewers. Um, I'm going to let my auto host take over. So I'll automatically be hosting somebody. Um, I'm not going to look up. I don't know. Maybe I'll look up see who's streaming. Who's streaming? Uh... Uh, I don't have a lot of people I'm following that are streaming right now, so I'll let my auto host take over. If you're watching on YouTube um, as part of the playlist, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good night. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Ah, there we go.